Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on using the IF function in Excel. The IF function is one of the logical functions in Excel. You need a logic test to be evaluated to use an IF function. This means you must have something to compare that will result in, say, a true or false type of answer. For example, if you have a column with sales information in it for each sales rep, and you have a cell that contains the sales quota required in order to receive a bonus. You could compare those two cells, and if the one is greater than the other, then you could award a bonus. The if statement looks like this. It is an equals if, open parenthesis, Logic test goes in as the first argument of this function, comma. The next argument is the value if true, comma, followed by the last argument, value if false, closing parenthesis. Our logic test is pretty simple. It's, again, anything you can test with a yes or no type result. For example, if what's in cell B5 is greater than the number 10, then that's a logic test. That gets either a yes or no true-false answer. Based on that, if that was your logic test in your if statement, you would then move on and do whatever was in the value of true, or if that was false, whatever was in the value of false. Keep in mind the basic comparison operators are less than, less than or equal to, equal to, not equal to, which is your less than and greater than symbols together, greater than, and greater than or equal to. Those are your most common ones you will be using. Here I have a spreadsheet open. This is basic housing data from a possible project run by a developer. Maybe they had multiple projects going with multiple lots and houses for sale. We're going to make a little prediction over here in the prediction column, we're going to pretend none of these houses have been sold, and then based upon a combination of their number of bedrooms and number of bathrooms, how long might it take to sell? Let's start by first evaluating based on the number of bedrooms. I think most of us would agree that anything under three bedrooms is probably a little harder to sell in the market today. We're going to do that first with just a basic if statement. So I'm going to start typing in my if statement. Then I'm going to use the insert function box on the formula bar to open up the function arguments dialog box because I find this an easier way to finish and do an if statement. It gives me the help here as I'm in an argument and as I tab between them you can see that down here the help changes. So for this one, we're simply going to look at what's in cell I2. Is it less than a 3? If it's less than a 3, we're going to print out a message. If it's not, we're going to leave everything thoroughly blank by putting in two blanks, or nothing, by putting in two double quotes. When I typed in tough cell, I didn't enter the double quotes, but when I tabbed to value of faults, it entered them for me. Now watch what happens, remembering that I'm working in this Excel table. Once I enter it in the first cell, it automatically populates it in the remainder of the cells, and you can see that all of these cells in this column have that formula in them. And you can tell, here's one, two, be two bedroom, it's going to be a tough sell, and so on. There weren't very many two bedrooms. Another prediction of sales of homes might be that number of bathrooms. So let's rename this prediction one, and let's add another column. Okay, in prediction two, I'm going to add an if statement. Again, same method for me to open it up. You use whichever method works for you. But here I'm going to look at the number of bathrooms. And I've also clicked on the cell instead of typing it in. By doing that, 
it then populates in there structured name for me here. And I again am going to say if this is less than 2, then I want to put something in. And again, if that's false, I'm going to leave it empty. And you can see there are multiple ones showing as hard cells here. That's just a simple if statement. So in summary, use your insert function or use the search feature on the formula ribbon to find your if statement and use the dialog box to help you with creating them. It gives you help, prompts you about your logic test, and then even more importantly, it offers you the help on this function link so that you can see real examples of simple if statements and even more. This is a great way to get help in Excel about a specific function using that help on this function. If you know you need to use that function, open up the dialog box and look at some examples if you're having trouble completing it.